Okay, Jared. Obviously, not the result that you desired. Tell me about the race from your perspective. Yeah, it's uh, still kind of finding myself this year. I had, a, I had an injury at Easter and I was out for four weeks, so uh, it's a little bit of a setback. So I've been kind of planning catch up this this whole winter, this uh, whole summer, sorry. So uh, yeah, like I say, it's, it's that was the season's best today. I felt as though I got to 300 well. Um, just didn't have it that over the final 100 metres, but uh, with races it will come. I've not raced a huge amount so this year, so um, yeah, fine. Hopefully get a re relay spot in Rio and then uh, take it from there. And I just need to just need to race now. The work's been done in training. I'm running really well, and the times I'm running in training are better than where I was this time last year. It's just finding that rhythm in the 400. I had that rhythm really early last year and I was going out running races and running reps and I just felt really, really easy. What, what um, you know, how do you deal with the frustration of not, your race not quite coming together, having the start to the season that you did with a few niggles and stuff like that and, you know, being in the shape that you're in now, how do you deal with that mentally? Yeah, it's, it's difficult because uh, last year I opened my season and ran a 45-7 and felt easy and it's, and then went off to Geneva and 45-2 and then team champs and then, but uh, that was last year. Obviously I can take inspiration from that last year because obviously I know that when I'm, like I say in training, I'm running times that are quicker than last year. And I look at what I was running last year, I was running some very quick times. So I see, I know that when it clicks, I'll be, I'll be flying. Like you just look at someone like Martin there who's been running 46 lows, 45 high all season got in the race there dropped a 45 flat and it's it's it'll come it's I can kind of take inspiration from what he's done as well obviously he's, he did the same last year wasn't really running quick and got to uh, Beijing and dropped a time and obviously see what he's just done there today it's I know there's a time in there it's just get it out there it's obviously a shame I couldn't do it today Where, how, how do you see the, the team in terms of the, the relay if you are selected um, to go to Rio there's there's a possible medal there isn't there yeah, we, we if we go, we're gonna win. We want to go and win gold. It's we, like I said, we've got a team that can do it. We've got, like I say, look at the team last year where we took bronze, and arguably the team this year is stronger because obviously we've got the Mac coming back into the team as well. So I just want to make sure that I'm part of that team. So yes, I obviously want to go as part of the six, but I want to be running as part of the four in that in that final. So um, yeah, I've just got to run myself into shape now. So the work's been done, training's looking really good. It's just now it's gonna get into races and drop the time that I know I'm capable of. Question I'm asking everybody is, um, give me your most endearing or your best memory of uh, competing in an Olympic stadium. Um, I've not really competed in men here. Yeah. Obviously, I think, to me, I ran in the London stadium as part of the test event, and uh, yeah, I ran the British University Championships there, and, and won, and ran a personal best there, so that's probably the one memory for me, obviously, being Running as part of the test event in the Olympic Stadium in London and winning and getting sent on top of the podium. Obviously, it wasn't in front of the 80,000, but I was still stood on top of the podium. I kind of held the track record for a while until Karani went and ran there. So, uh, Karani, you? Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, probably London. I'd have to. Are you going to. You doing the anniversary games? <laughs> if there's a men's four, I'd like to be considered, but I'd say it's. We'll see what happens. If there's a national event or whatever, so. We shall find out in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for your time, Jared. Appreciate it.